welcome to my channel my name is Nikki thank you for stopping by I have got a 16 by 20 canvas that I'm going to be pouring on and I am going to use the dump and swirl technique this is um, a technique I saw on the white pours channel so I will list his channel in the um, description box below and if you haven't um, checked him out do that he posts really good content and um, he's got some really cool paintings so anyway let's first I'm going to begin by um, putting this down on the edges before I forget because the last time I did this I totally forgot to do this part until I'd already started dumping colors on the canvas and um, yeah so let's do this really quick I like to use these little foamy brushes it is quick and easy Um, I don't think it's as important with the white as it is with darker colors to do this, but I'm still going to do it. Because why not, right? Why not? Why not? Because you guys might not have seen my other pores with the darker colors, and so you wouldn't know to do this if I didn't. Okay. So I don't go all the way in. He doesn't go all the way in on his. Um, so I don't go all the way in on mine. Okay? We just do that. Now we have a nice little circle. Alrighty. Now let's go over our color palette. My dump color is going to be the Artist Loft Flow Acrylic in the color white. I'm going to throw that away because it's empty. And then I have got all of my other colors are the Americana Decor Metallics. This is in the color Emerald. Amethyst. Pearl. And 24 karat gold. And these are all thinned 2 to 1 with a little bit of water. Uh, my ratios are the same that I use for the Extreme Sheen cells. So we're just going to start putting down our puddles. Okay, now I'm going to do my dump color, and it's literally that. You dump it right smack dab in the middle, and it's a lot. It is a lot. I'm going to put some more. Now it's going to go really fast, you guys. So just move it fast, and your dump color will go over your other colors. You don't want to pour off too much, though, because you won't have enough to go to all the corners. So don't pour off too much at the first go. 
far you'll be in a pickle like I was. And then whenever you start doing your to your last corner you can kind of gauge how much needs to go off. Alright, so I'm getting sales. So I'm going to bring the, the majority of the dump color back to the center so that hopefully all the cells will form along all four uh, corners. Am I making sense? I hope I am. Oh, it's Mardi Gras colors. Okay, you guys so we are back and this is what we're looking at this is so pretty okay I can say that the vast majority of this is the emerald um, the gold makes an appearance right there in a few spots around here and the purple a little bit too um, but I think it's um, still very attractive, still very beautiful. Um, yeah, we're going to name this Mardi Gras because that's what it is. It's a Mardi Gras pour. Anyway, even though it's not February. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I love this. It's so beautiful. It makes me so, so happy. I'm sure even more cells will develop. How awesome would it be if the whole white area, like the solid white area, is just like filled with cells when I come back out here tomorrow? That would be pretty awesome. I don't know if it'll happen, but it would be pretty awesome. Y'all, I know this is like not the best view. I will show you the situation. My um, space is filled. I've been painting, painting, painting. I even have one drawing down there. Um, so, I wanted to show you guys the dried piece. And this is it. I also wanted to show you something. If I get really, really, really close, I don't know. But do you see, like, this little dark spot there? That was where um, some of the color, like, dripped on top of the the dump color and it just it wasn't a cell it was just color and I wanted to correct it so I just took white paint uh, white paint and I just like painted over it I had to do a couple of coats because um, you want to get it really thin and you don't want to just like put it in one spot you want to like come out with it so that it kind of feathers into the surrounding white but like you can't even see it now um, and once I put a um, varnish on it, it's just going to be like, like normal. I do have one little blip here, a little mosquito gnat went through it, but it kind of like followed the line that was already created, so it doesn't even look uh, bad. <laughs> so anyway, um, yeah. So this is the Gerard piece. It's beautiful. I love it. And yeah. So. Um, anyway uh i can't i can't remember what else i'm gonna say so i guess i hope you guys enjoyed this and i'll speak to you all very soon bye